This video is recorded in 2023 as a job aid for the GISS workflow. It will cover how to edit the event polygon in an offline copy of the training GISS edit service. Before diving in, I'll point out a job aid called Editing Event Data on the Edit Event Data page of the GISS workflow. It covers how to use attributes in the National Incident Feature Service, as well as specific geometric editing steps in ArcGIS Pro. In the Edit project, sync the offline copy before each edit session. There are two Fire Edge features collected in field maps and GPS data I've processed and converted from KML and GPX with which to create the wildfire daily fire perimeter. There are many ways to edit data in ArcGIS Pro. No right or wrong way, just different methods. Open the Create Features pane from the Edit tab on the ribbon. Locate the Wildfire Daily Fire Perimeter Feature Template and select it. Update the map method if known. If this information is unknown, or if there are multiple data sources that were collected using different methods, such as from a hand sketch and from GPS, leave the mixed methods default value. The feature access for all wildfire daily fire perimeters defaults to public so that the perimeters appear in public facing applications. If employing the situation approval workflow, be sure to update the feature status to approved. Update the polygon date time using UTC or coordinated universal time. We use UTC because the National Incident Feature Service is used across multiple time zones. If needed, use an online calculator to determine the date and time in UTC. The polygon date time field is imperative as it represents the date and time the perimeter was collected. This may not match the date and time the GISS creates the wildfire daily fire perimeter, which is captured automatically in the create date attribute field. Ensure snapping is enabled, then digitize the polygon using the trace tool and zoom and pan along the GPS data as needed. This can be done using the scroll wheel on the mouse. Finish the polygon to close it. Open the attribute table of the event polygon feature layer. And delete the auto-generated triangle record. Note the incident name and Irwin ID attributes are already populated as feature templates were properly configured in the data preparation steps of the workflow. Save edits. I'll demonstrate another example that uses NIROPS data instead of GPS data to update the wildfire daily fire perimeter. This is the Elkhorn fire from 2023, and this is what the NIFs may look like after an infrared interpreter loads IR data into the IR point and IR polygon layers of the NIFs. First, verify with your SIDL that the IR heat perimeter should be congruent or larger than the existing wildfire daily fire perimeter. Then, review the IR heat perimeter for accuracy. Do this by turning off data that you don't need to see to simplify.
Then optionally update the symbology of the IR heat perimeter to better distinguish it. And zoom and pan along the perimeter to check for any issues. They're confirming that the IR heat perimeter is congruent or larger than the existing wildfire daily fire perimeter. There are two relatively quick methods to update the wildfire daily fire perimeter. The first is to copy and paste special the IR heat perimeter into the wildfire daily fire perimeter feature template. Check the box to keep source attribute values. Then delete the old wildfire daily fire perimeter. Using this method retains the attributes that the iron entered into the IR heat perimeter layer. The second method is to replace geometry of the existing wildfire daily fire perimeter and use replace sketch to update it with the IR heat perimeter's geometry. Using this method means you don't have any duplicate perimeters to delete, but you do need to update attributes of the wildfire daily fire perimeter to match the IR heat perimeter attributes such as the polygon date time field. There are additional editing methods that may take more or less time than the ones demonstrated here. After updating the wildfire daily fire perimeter, save edits, then continue on with editing the perimeter line.